So what I actually have here is um, a different setup than the one in the pedal board I built in my other videos, which I found was really well suited to using a lot of analog pedals and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, the band I play in a sort of industrial metal band called Bad Pollyanna tend to want um, quite a lot of very specific uh, delays and modulation effects and pitch effects and it was getting to be a bit of a handful even with a Moen ch changer system so what I did was invested in the TC electronic as we've already seen in other videos and then built a little board around that um, one of the things that was problematic in the previous setup was the whammy which didn't fit on the board so I always had an extra pedal out to the side. The other thing was if you've ever used the whammy you have to go down here and turn this knob to uh, change your settings. If you have two whammy settings in a song then either you've got to get down on your hands and knees in the dark on a gig and try and find it or you don't do it or you make a terrible cock up. So that I wanted to deal with one of the ways to deal with that was to get a MIDI controller but the TC Electronic can um, has a MIDI out so I can send MIDI information out so I thought for the actual price of the TC Electronic I can have all those um, pitch modulation delay effects in a fairly compact unit and I will also from the foot switch there be able to control the whammy so that's pretty cool. The other thing is um, the drives and the distortions in the TC are actually pretty good and they're analog. It's an analog path it takes there, although the rest of the effects are all digital. It's not as um, mind-bashingly um, powerful. As I would have liked for the Bad Pollyanna setup. So what I've actually done is I've incorporated the TC Rottweiler in there which is a pretty good high gain pedal uh, but then I didn't want to be tap dancing so what I've brought in as well because the Rottweiler needs a fair amount of taming so we've got the decimator on there probably one of my favorite bits of kit so they're going to be in their loop. I didn't want to be tap dancing all over the place, moving between clean sounds. One of the reasons to get the, the Nova was to avoid that. So what I got instead was this rather splendid black loop pedal from One Control. Now there is a white loop this is the black one it's got two loops which is pretty good and what I think the white loop does is if you press loop one it will switch to loop one and go out of loop two um, and the same if you press on loop two it will click out of loop one into loop two what I wanted was to be able to have two loops on at once um, which is what the black loop does so that's why I got that there's a couple of other cool features about it one is I mean it's DC powered 9 volt as you might imagine but it has two courtesy you can see there two courtesy DC out one there and one there so actually what's pretty cool is I'm powering the Rottweiler from the black loop then I'm powering my TC Polytune from the black loop the TC Polytune has a courtesy power out so I'm powering the decimator from the Polytune so actually I'm powering everything from the black loop as well as using it as a loop pedal so I didn't really need, what I did was the out of the black loop is going to the Nova system 
actually it's going into the whammy and then into the Nova system. I did have a loop spare so what I've done is I've put my polytune in one of the loops just because mid gig I can tune it there on loop one without risking stepping over there and knocking the Rottweiler settings a little bit. So I can just demo that for you now. So at the minute I'm going so I think loop one puts me in my tuner mode. So that mutes everything which is nice. So I can tune up mid gig really quickly. Take it out of loop one, loop two. 